to the illegally low quantity of people out there watching. I am Haze Dream, and I am your host, and I'm going to bring you some fucking Zerg versus Protoss here on the map, Steps of War. I've done so, so many fucking games on uh, Steps of War, I'm getting tired of it, but, you know, it's one of the founding maps in StarCraft 2 so far, so who gives a shit? In the top right, we have uh, the Zerg player, he's in red. That is the MAGA, he is the Canadian, and he is 24 years old, for all you faggots out there, and he has won three ESL Cups, He's won two in August and one in late July, and exactly on July 28th. I did look that up. And to the bottom left, we have uh, Kiwi Kaki. We're going to call him Kiwi. I've done a cast of this guy before. He is the Protoss player. And he's also, uh, he's a Ukrainian, and he's won the uh, Gosu Guide Show Match Series number two. And his ELO rank is number 10. And as a matter of fact, his age is unknown. He does not want to stay his age because in Ukraine... The women there go fucking berserk and ape shit over pro gamers, so off limits on his age. And we see Kiwi's uh, probe here in the Maga's main. He's gonna see what type of uh, early build the Zerg player will be going here, and let's see what happens here. The probe is just gonna rally around. Nothing big, nothing big happening here. He's gonna see what. Demaga will do, and Demaga does go for the all rights reserved Hydro build, which is the 14 pool. As Kiwi proceeds on chrono boosting more probes out to get his economy out, and a gas going down for Demaga, so we're gonna see uh, more than likely Zergling speed. He's just gonna get it for the 100 gas early, and then he's gonna go back on minerals, or he could just proceed into keep getting gas, you know, and go for some lair action into Muta. Or anything else their hearts desire. Zerg players have uh, so many options, just as any other race. But Terran probably has the most options, right? Of course, yeah. Let's see what the Maga does here. After he does this nice 14 pool, he's definitely going to get the speed. And we see uh, two gateways. Not exactly walled off. I want to say, no, he's, he left a little slither. I love that too. I, lo I don't like walling off myself. You know, I do like to play Protoss, my second favorite playing race, and I do like to just put Zealots to wall it in. No Zerglings will get in like that. This probe is going to come around, he's going to he's gonna scout some more. And you can see one of the uh, drones did get off the gas and went to the minerals. Two Zerglings come out to fend off this probe just so it could stop like looking all up in his shit. And this probe will leave for Kiwis, and we can definitely see that uh, this drone is going to come out and put down the natural expansion for the Zerg player. A Zealot being... Uh, charge towards the middle. That Zealot's probably gonna he's probably gonna try to do some harass right now. Yep, he's gonna be going into Demaga's main. And as you can see Demaga did not put down the natural yet. He probably yeah uh, he's gonna kill this Zealot and mm, he should probably put that natural down. I mean I don't know why he didn't. He probably thought the Zealot's gonna come out and you know he's probably gonna see it and then he's gonna kinda go all in heavy with Zealots and just try to end it fast. But he backs away and the manga is going to bring a couple of couple of zerglings back out in front of his natural, and I don't see why he did not put that natural down. The manga that is, as you can see, yes, the uh, zergling speed is coming up, and finally Kiwi's going to get his uh, cybernetics core coming up and getting warped in. We see a whole a lot of zerglings now, about 10, 10 zerglings at the top of uh, the manga's tramp, and of course tramp is uh, ramp plus choke, so. These zealots, you can see five zealots probably coming out to, uh, and this, yeah, the natural did go down for Demaga now as the five zealots come in. Could have been up earlier, but he, he does have a, a lot of zerglings now to fend this off. These zealots are going to back off, and two get trapped in the wall of hell, and they're going to begin getting chopped away. These three zealots are just, they're going to, uh, they're going to get surrounded, and look, one gets surrounded, and he's in the shit. As another from the main is coming out, it's still two versus like 20 zerglings. This is not good. Kiwi loses all of his zealots to these speed zerglings. Beautiful. You can see some lair action also going down. And you can see these zerglings are not going to get into that nice skinny wall. Which is uh, very nice. I love that. I, I, I hate walling myself in. I can't. I can't do harass, right? Look at this calf. This Ursadak calf, who is a rare species in the game. Put some armor on him, and then you have a pretty good unit. And this forge here is about halfway completed so we can see some cannons and uh, cannons and some upgrades coming up for uh, Kiwi and we can see uh, this lair is almost in there a roach warren going down now for Damaga okay his naturals up now he can begin saturating and transferring drones there 
to begin the the money money and gas deluxe edition as this probe puts down a pylon outside of his main and these are gonna come in no they're not they're gonna just trap a, a zealot who is just wandering around how did that how did those three zealots the other three zealots and the two stalkers talk that zealot into going down there and checking I mean, he, he just got caught with a fucking his head off, okay? Five drones from the Maga's main are going to be transferred to the natural now. Begin saturating some minerals off that. A pylon trying to be warped in, but Kiwi being wise, canceling it as it was getting surrounded by speed zerglings. You don't want to get surrounded by speed zerglings in this game, even in Stark and Brood War, because if you get surrounded by them, you're going to die, okay? You could be whatever. You could be an Ultralisk, you could be a, a Colossi, you're going to die. They have their whole circumference of 360 degrees around you. It is not good news. Now he's got his tramp nice and secured. So Kiwi's not in bad, you know, not in a bad shape. He's got his weapon upgrade coming out. But you can see five roaches being produced by Demaga, and he also has roach speed coming out. Army looks about even, although Demaga does have an advantage of 12 in that, as I saw, and seven roaches being produced. Uh, four being produced, and when the roaches come out and that speed gets upgraded, much more stronger composition will be in the makings for Demaga. That's for sure. And a gas go another gas going down for you can see uh, Kiwi down there. So he's going to be trying to maybe tech up here as his natural's going down as well. So at the moment it's still one base versus two, but when that other base comes in for Kiwi, it'll be even. And Zerg is, uh, the Magus should probably think about expanding again. You know, the main minerals will run out eventually. They don't last forever. But they still look uh, pretty full there. As uh, Kiwi's going to begin to push out here on these Zerglings. He's going to use a couple of force fields to trap a couple of Zerglings. Which is actually a nice play. I mean, he did catch a couple, maybe three or four. These Roaches are going to begin uh, trying to chisel down these rocks. Start spitting green shit on it. And they're gonna, that's just going to go down. And as you can see, tunneling... Uh, Tunneling, what are they called? Yeah, tunneling claws, tunneling calves. I was gonna say I was too busy looking at the Ursa. Then, all right, and these roaches gonna try to surround all of this Protoss shit, and they will, and they're gonna get some nice one hits on the, some of these units. So these zealots will go down very quickly to the roaches. Roaches really do own zealots. I've observed that in the league games, yes. And Kiwi's gonna he's gonna run away, and he that's a smart move run into this cannon, some stalk more stalkers here, he's gonna warp in a couple more stalkers and now, oh, some nice force fields catching uh, catching some roaches there to, to make sure they go single file back to their main very nice play there, nice force field actually by Kiwi that's why he's ranked 10 in ELO rank, yeah, I see why alright, and we can see <laughs> units being rallied there and back I guess he had that set there I guess, yeah, alright, robotics, uh Robotics facility being put put down by Kiwi now. And as we can see, Burrow is also being uh, upgraded now by Demaga. And also a uh, ranged weaponry for uh, Demaga is being researched. Yes, he's going Roach. And, and what is this? Oh, he's putting down a Hydralis then. So he's definitely going for all ranged units except, the, of course, the Zerglings. Who just claw their way, who, you know, with speed. You don't got to upgrade the claws, they're okay. You don't got to waste your minerals and gas on that. And uh, let's see, Bro almost done here, and and he's gonna just keep uh, Queen's just gonna keep injecting that serum inside the hatcheries, and that's uh, that serum does a does a really good uh, help to the addition of the game, spawning extra larva. It's so beautiful for Zerg. I think it's one of the best out of the three races. <coughs> and you can see finally second expansion being put down now by Damaga, so he's trying to stay ahead. He knows he has the advantage, so he's gonna definitely stay ahead. Observers now also going to be out for uh, Kiwi now, and Kiwi's going to begin destroying these rocks to try to make a second expansion up north. Nice saturation on all of these bases so far. We're going to see the saturation on the third coming up. This circling just okay got obliterated by all these stalkers and uh, oh, weapon defense, weapon armor actually for Kiwi is being upgraded now. And these uh, roaches and now hydralists, uh, some hydralists are now being formed into the composition of uh, Demaga's uh, army. Nice mix there of ranged units and also with the Zerglings in the front taking all the damage. It's a very nice composition. And this observer is going to see this creep tumor 
and these stalkers will be him uh, clearing some of the shit out. As here are the stalkers, they're gonna begin. Oh, look at these force fields, very nice, keeping them single file. But the tunneling claws for the roach, such a nice upgrade as they can heal underground rapidly. <coughs> yeah, sorry about that, you know. That's what happens when you uh, when you smoke. You know, I want to quit, but patches cost so much. But then wait, I'm gonna buy more cigarettes. That cost a lot too. No, fuck that. All right, here I'm gonna die anyway soon. All right, here here's a uh, blink being upgraded now. It's halfway through. And, oh, look at this. These roaches, the speed on roaches is beautiful. Look at this. Some nice force fields to play defensively here by Kiwi. But, you know, whatever. What can you do? These hydras and roaches and the tunnel and claw uh, roaches just regening like that. I mean, this can go all day with this, you know, can mouse here. But the roaches are regen that quickly, that fast. And they're going to come back and they're going to fight these stalkers. The hydras are staying back for now. And look at this, they can just bury it. Ah, ah, max HP, all green and shit already. The whole stalker group comes and one shots one. Observers are nice. Yes, they are. And <laughs> when the one Zergling being an asshole here in this uh, second expansion by uh, Kiwi, he's gonna have to go take care of that. And the one stalker does pass by there. And he's gonna get him. Huh? That's what happens when you have Burrow. You can have a nice observer there on that base. And one Zergling just being a total pig. In that second expansion of Kiwis, let him be a pig. He knows he's there, but whatever. And uh, Overlord Speed, being upgraded now by Damaga. And uh, that's Weapons 2 now for Kiwi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Weapons 2. And he's going to push out here with the Stalkers. Basically, it's all Stalkers with two Sentries. Sentries acting as women in the middle there. And some Zealots in the back coming. And whoa, these roaches are going to take some fire, but finally they unburrow and fend off the stalkers. Some micro here for both players. Hydralists are right there to the side. He doesn't want to get pinched in by this this uh, Hydra Roach build. Definitely not. Well, he's going he's gonna, he's gonna to regen there. As we can see, both players are now on uh, pretty much three bases. Main still does have minerals and gas, so they still count. And let's see. Kiwi, oh, he's going to begin saturating that uh, expansion. And this battle will definitely happen here. These Hydras all up on this ramp. Some force fields going down. Pretty nice. But there's still so much shit in the back of that that it's not even close to being over. He's going to play totally defensive. He's going to wall off all that. But the Roaches with the Tunneling Claws are so uber. They're going to go underneath. Now they're going to back out. They're going to regen. This is beautiful, actually, beautiful army control here by the Maga. That's why he's one of the best StarCraft 2 so far in the world. <coughs> and here we go. Roaches come up to the top of the tramp, and, uh, they, well, the Stalker's doing a pretty good job, but there's so much Hydras, and they're surrounding the whole circumference of the whole ramp here, that they're doing a lot of DPS. Some nice blink, uh, definitely by Kiwi, getting the weak ones into the back, which is actually very nice. He's actually paying attention to that. It looks about even here. Some Stalkers blink their way to this outside, and they're gonna try to surround, but a whole mass of Hydras and more Roach coming for the Maga. His macro is in fucking automatic 5th gear, and he's just going to begin pushing back again. These stalkers are going to back all the way back to the uh, natural, and some more stalkers being warped in. We're gonna, they're going to take some hits as they're being warped in helplessly, and that's not good. These stalkers doing a pretty good job, you know, holding off. And this probe's off the line, and they don't give a shit, and they're going to hold this off, because if they hold it off, they're going to still be in the game. Fuck it, let's go. Stop up. They're all dead. All the probes are dead. Three stalkers left. And these Hydras are just going to clean this up now. How many Hydras there? Like eight? Ah, oh, there's more coming though. Alright. Um, oh, there's a decent amount of Kiwi Stalkers there to fend this off, maybe. With one cannon. But there's no probes in the natural, so that's not good. Uh, there's probably nothing you can do. It's probably over. These Hydras are going to push in. And they're, they're going to try to attempt to take out these Stalkers and this cannon. The cannon goes down, unfortunately, for Kiwi. And uh, these Hydras are going to go down one by one. They get microed. These Hydras are just getting microed. GG from Kiwi, and good game. Wow.